Today I'm going to show you guys how to build a super awesome helmet light on a budget. Stick around. Alright, here's the complete setup right here. First thing you're going to need is some sort of light. I'm using a light I had laying around. It's actually a light I ordered from AliExpress. I got it direct from China. It was about $80 for a pair of them, and they're rated at 3,600 lumens. Price has gone up a bit since I got mine, but it is a really bright light, and it works really well for this. But if I had to do it all over again, I would use the Baja Designs S1 LED. I think it's just a much better light. It's a little smaller, a little bit lighter, which is good for helmet mounting. And Baja Designs really stands behind their products. They make some really good stuff, really good beam patterns and color temperatures. Next thing you're going to need is some sort of switch. These come in a three pack on Amazon and they work pretty well. You're going to need to cut off the female end and solder it onto the light. Uh, but don't worry, this is the only soldering you're going to have to do for this whole kit. And it's pretty easy. Just make sure you get the polarity correct because a lot of LED lights will only work when you get the polarity correct. They won't work if you reverse the polarity. I did promise no more soldering, so we're gonna use an extension cable that already has the correct type of connectors on it. This uses DC5521 connectors that work both on the switch as well as the battery bank. Okay, next up is the battery bank itself. And the important part about this is that it does have a 12 volt output. And this one is rated at 6,000 milliamp hours at 12 volts, which means it'll power a 20 watt light for about three and a half hours, which is pretty darn good. The last thing you need to do is figure out a way to mount the light to your helmet. I used GoPro adapters because I think they work great and they're easily available and they're cheap. But I also kind of did a total hack job on mine and I epoxied the GoPro base to the light because I didn't like the bracket my light came with. But you can use one of these GoPro camera adapters, which has a quarter 20 threaded post. You can thread that right into your light's bracket and use like a lock nut to secure it, which would actually work really well. But if you want it to look like a total budget build, uh, you're free to use epoxy as well like I did. It seems to hold up really, really well, even though it looks like crap. So there you go, guys. That is our budget helmet light build. Not too difficult, right? Pretty easy to assemble yourself, and you're going to save a ton of money over some of the commercially available kits, but you're going to get equivalent performance out of it. If you guys have found other components that work really well, please go ahead and leave a comment below and let us know how it worked out for you.